Good morning, everyone. Filming with Pastor Hosea Collins, Calvary Baptist Church, Hawthorne, California. And you know, this week in the love, as it relates to the daily devotionals, we're focusing on love, the greatest force in the universe. Today's devotional will come specifically from St. John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. And it reads as follows. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love one to another. I want to talk from the subject today, the characteristic of a true disciple. The characteristic of a true disciple. Now here Jesus says, a new commandment I give unto you. Why do you get something new? To replace what's old. Jesus, I'm bringing you a, and this, this is a better covenant established upon better promises. I'm giving you a new commandment. You don't have to be uh, uh, burdening yourself down with 600 and something laws. I'm giving you one that will summarize everything if you can get this one right. And here's what he says. Here is the new commandment. That you love one another as I have loved you. That's what God is holding us accountable to today. Am I loving others the same way God loved me? That's the mark of a true disciple. Am I forgiving others the way that my God forgave me? Am I helping others the way that Jesus helped me? Am I compassionate with others the way that Jesus is compassionate with me? Am I as patient with others as God has been patient with me? You see that standard right there? That changes the game, right? With that being a new commandment, you don't need another one. That requires all of your attention, your undivided attention. And here's what I love. Here's what Jesus said. He goes on to say, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples that you have love one to another. Jesus said not only is this important as a new commandment, this is the one that verifies whether you want to mind or not. Here is how they can know if you're really a follower of me. It's by the fact that you have love one to another. Don't miss this. He didn't say love one for another. He says love one to another. Well, what's the difference? I can have love for you and you not feel it. But I can't show love to you and you not feel that love. You become a direct recipient by the fact that we have love towards to one another is the true mark of a real disciple of Jesus Christ. He didn't say by the fact that you go to church every Sunday, by the fact that you give big tithes and offerings, by the fact that you pray three or four times a day, by the fact that you do this many services in your community, or you do this much philanthropy, or, or you're involved in this much charitable, charitable donations. All of that is good. But he says the one true mark that will always reveal who's mine, who's really my disciple, my discipline learner, my student is the one that has love toward others just as I have love toward you. Make that your goal today and really challenge yourself. Am I a true disciple? Because am I showing love to others as Christ showed to me? Amen. Without that, he said, you're killing me, Smalls. May God bless you. God keep you here tomorrow. Thank you again for joining us. I pray that that word really blessed your life. And if it did, why don't you share it with someone else that you know could be blessed or helped by it. Let us share God's goodness so that all of us can grow and be victorious as God has ordained us to be. If you didn't do it earlier, please click that subscribe button and also click that notification link so you will be updated when new content is coming. And if you desire to support this ministry, you can click on that Give Lafay link, search Calvary Baptist Church of Hawthorne and continue to support God's work. We thank you. We love you and can't wait to see you again next time.